the last hurrah before I pull them all out and the whole lot's gone and finished for the season. God, that comes on so quick. <laughs> Now, you've got, to, you've got to, when advice is given, you've got to take it. And I've got loads of advice about me to me to a problem. And yes, I'm taking the things off there. I know what it is now, because I was a bit worried that it was blight, but it's not blight, I'll tell you what it is. So if, if you hadn't watched, I'll try and remember to put a link up there. But I came last time and let's just show you again. Uh, can you see, let's just touch that so you can see. Uh, now, it's not blight, it's not spot, tomato spot or whatever you call it, deficient in magnesium. Yeah, so big thank you to everyone that said that because I've looked on the, on the stems and I've looked again over the next last day or two and there's nothing happening on the stems. But this is where the, the experience, you know, the old boys and girls there with the knowledge said that still lots of leaves on. Now I know there's lots of leaves on my tomato plants right up See a good two foot, I've always kind of trimmed them back. But now we are, we are into the kind of, the last waning weeks, couple of weeks, if that for me, of the kind of tomatoes. So what I'm gonna to do today is with me little fancy set that I found, I'm stripping off every leaf of every tomato plant. And I might even, let's just make sure, <laughs> stripping the bloody leaves I might even no I'm not I was gonna say I might even pull some of them out but I'm just gonna strip them right down so we've just now we're in the we're in the final stretches of tomato finishing and then I might even go within a, a week or so take these ones out mmm so I'm gonna go with me me big bucket and just save us messing around trying to pick off the ground, the leaves. Then you'll get a good idea once, you've, once I've finished, you'll get a good idea of what I've got like left on me tomatoes. And it, so will I, to be honest. Mine, this is so therapeutic. <laughs> it's like house cleaning. Onto the blue moon or that. <laughs> I'll show you as well something. Come and have a look before I, because I'll switch it off and then I'll get it all cracked off. These are the grafted ones and still, man, look at them. Do you know what I mean? Unreal, the amount of, of produce I've had off these grafted tomatoes that came in that skinny little thing, you know what I mean? And look, they're even bending over because I haven't got the height, you know, from there to there. So they're just, <laughs> once I get the new polytunnel up though. Now I'm not sure if you can see or not, but these two are really the only ones after I've kind of stripped them back and I had a look at the back. So every, this one, and them three there are going to come out and I'm going to leave these two and then you'll, you'll have a better look at what's happening as well. Do that now. I've got to get on my knees to show you. So I've done one side, and I think with this side as well, I'll give you a little look. It's, you'll see what I mean. I think I'll just probably with them. It seemed to take, I ran into a bit of a problem. And the problem was the sweet million tomatoes. I, can't start. I know they've got the bloody, these ones. What do you call them, the sun thing, sun goal. And it just slows it right down. But I'll show you what I've been doing here. So I've stripped them right back, right back. And it's actually nice to see some, some space there. And compared to this side, which, let's just turn you around there, is still full of the leaves. 
I mean, I got a better crop on, we're gonna call that the left side where I've just cut back, a way better crop. You know, and yes, I was using some of the graft up the top end, but I mean, the graft, come and have a look, they look like conkers on the floor when I've been, <laughs> that was one thing. Some of the leaves are kind of supporting the, the tomatoes, so you've got to be very careful that way. Now look at all the <laughs> bloody tomatoes. They're all good ones as well, so I'll be picking them up. But you can kind of see if I can just gently move the camera up there without jerky, jerky, jerky. All the tomatoes that are still to go. I mean, there's a good few sauce, bolognese sauces there as well. And like I said, these ones I'll probably just, you know, get get rid of. You know, there's, I'm, like I say, I've probably got about two weeks left at the most with the tomatoes, so we'll see. Just another update on the, the green bucket. The ones that were in there, they're all going green, I'm oh, sorry, red now. Everyone's saying, oh, they'll, they'll, take, they'll take ages to one. But I just find, if I just have a big bucket with everything in there, like that, even these ones will go. And if not, then it'll be five green tomatoes. A little bit tidier in here as well, and you can kind of, it feels like you can get on top of it. So if you've, you know, if you're in this kind of state where there's tomatoes are kind of all over the shop and time is running out. Do you know what I mean? There's no, there's no getting away from it. But this hopefully is nice and tidy. But outside is a total different kettle of fish because I'm 100% baby novice there, having a clue. But I'm going to cut one plant back until I hear what you say about that. Because me outside, and we'll stick to, come here, we'll stick to the, the ones that are out against the the wall can you can you see me there wait on let's go over there so i'm going to strip i'm going to strip all these leaves on one plant just to see to see how many tomatoes i've got to be honest so because these leaves are taking up so much of the goodness still So we'll see. I just want them to ripen now. I'm not really bothered about with them even growing. I want them to get to the finish line just ripen. That one's gone, so hopefully. Actually, I said I was just gonna do one, didn't I? <laughs> Oh, I'll do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the ball. I'm, I'm here. I might not get up again for a while. If it's if I've done something not right, well then, so be it. These, mind you, are oh perfect, absolutely perfect. Now I haven't really had a crop off them yet. So that's it really. There was a couple of little ones on the on the leaves that I cut off. But I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't want to blow the old trumpet there, but I'm quite happy with that. Do you know what I mean? There's quite a just for a few plants, six plants is there there. There's quite a haul and they're starting to go. So hopefully, you know, like I say, I noticed the neighbors had some left and they were well into October, you know, so hopefully they'll all start to kind of just turn red there. Now, once summer away, you know, they all kind of jump into the water and get away. So hopefully that's good. So it's really just the last hurrah before I pull them all out and the whole lot's gone and finished for the season. God, that comes on so quick. So 
from a nice, a nice day here in, in the northeast of England. Look after yourselves, take good care.